what's up my people welcome back again to my archive this is sandra i know i know long time no vlog so today i'm going to be giving you guys a six weeks postpartum doctor's appointment today's vlog is going to be kind of different i'll be doing part of the voiceover and okay, me, my husband will be doing the other part of the voiceover so i hope you enjoyed this one um, uh, nobody told me how difficult it is to be a mom and a content creator at the same time i am literally going through it i have to do things ahead of time in fact i don't i'm going to have another video scheduled to just let you guys know what i'm really going through trying to be both a mom and a content creator but i try my best to make sure that you get your video every monday on this day, I had told myself that I was going to wake up by 7 a.m. and then beat my baby, beat myself. In fact, even do makeup, you know, because we've not really been going out. But you will not believe when I woke up. I woke up by 11 and it was my husband that came to wake me up. Like, what's going on? Are we not going to the hospital again? And I'm like, oh my God. I had to start rushing. Quickly had a bath for my baby, came back and just rushed. Honestly, I am going through it. I'm going to do a story time of how being a mom and being a content creator is kicking my bum bum. Um, uh, those mothers that used to come out every day looking good, prim and proper with full face of makeup. How do you guys do it? Because man, I can barely get myself together. Because as I'm waking up, I'm jumping out of bed. I'm trying to bat my baby. I'm trying to feed him. I'm trying to get him to sleep. When he sleeps, I'm trying to get food, try to bat there's just so much to do and before you blink twice the day has ended and you're like how what even happened how did today go honestly i'm still trying to get the hang of it and you know with children there's really no getting a hang of it because they change all the time there's no routine maybe until they're like six months because they keep changing they keep changing so as they are changing you change with them right now i am working on my baby's time i am i am living his life it's the life he wants me to live that i'm living you guys send help <laughs> and yes it just even occurred to me that you guys have not met my baby ah sandra you know do this one well though. okay don't worry there is a clip where you are going to see my baby and i'm going to tell you his name because right from when this baby was in my womb you guys knew about everything so it's only right that you meet my baby so just hold on in a bit you are going to see him and there you have it the star of the show my current employer my sweet son in whom i am well pleased guys meet my baby yes your nephew his name is aboluwari chasaleme udushola i don't know if i'm getting the yoruba, the yoruba pronunciation correctly Sha, because every time i pronounce it is that to say you are not calling it well but his name is aboluwari meaning the one that walks with god Chasaleme is an ekpe name, meaning God has answered me, and then I saw him Udushola. But you can call him Boluring for short, not Bolu, Boluring for short, or you can call him Chaman or Chamo or Fine Boy or Chunky Baby. In fact, this is my son. Don't worry, don't worry. You you hear from us soon. I'm, I'm tired of talking that big. I'm giving the mic to Ekpe me now, my husband, to complete the remaining part of the vlog. I know he will remember to tell you guys to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. So while you're here, please like, subscribe, and comment on this video. It will help my algorithm with YouTube. Thank you so much, guys, for listening to me for this long. And until you hear my voice again, be well. Wear me. Here you go. If you're hearing this voice, you know whose voice this is. This is Sandra's husband and Bolori's daddy. Um so we got to the hospital and we had to wait some time before it got to our turn and i was watching bolori just be himself and i remember telling sandra and him that today is going to be the first day you are going to experience the wickedness of the world world people are wicked well we waited and when it was his turn the matron came and started to attend to us man i almost couldn't take it but like based on daddy now you know i have to act like i'm strong but i really couldn't take the needles and the stabbing and the crying oh my god i was crying too in my mind but you know i acted on the die for film 
matron came and said she was going to give him i think seven vaccines if i'm not wrong seven right yeah she was going to give him one on one leg one on the other leg man i was man i don't know i like i don't know how people do it but my god the needle felt very big on my baby's very tiny leg and after the first prick of the needle bro his face turned red and the scream was like they paid him to scream because it came from the deepest part of his throat i could i could feel that i was in so much pain and when she dabs the second leg to give him the second vaccine he already knew what's up like you know what's coming bro and then the scream came again after that they had to put some drops in his mouth and but Lauren doesn't necessarily like taking drugs in his mouth like if he, he's found a way to spit them out that boy is wiser than his age but yeah he was very cranky up until we got home at night he couldn't sleep the second day he was waking up and crying screaming from his sleep as in the ptsd was just all the way bonkers guys today has been so difficult trying to get bullery to be calm you know navigating this whole thing it's crazy but i'm doing it i'm i'm, I'm doing my best oh, bye baby oh, the tree top when the wind blows the cradle will rock when the ball breaks the cradle will fall and i will come baby as you've heard sandra's beautiful sonorous world best voice that's the only way bolero can sleep if sandra doesn't sing that song like that man's gonna be wide-eyed till morning thank you for following the journey of how abolary got immunized or vaccinated if that's english Till the next time you hear my voice, which is probably going to be a long time from now. Or oh, till the next time you hear Sandra's voice, be W-E-L-L, -L, be well <laughs> and be good.